Stupid Raisins HUD Pop gives you amazing, trackable sci-fi displays, interfaces, and callouts for your projects. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get FX Factory tutorials, pro video tips, and software and product reviews every week. Stupid Raisins HUD Pop was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Titles browser under HUD Pop. The presets are broken up into categories. Plus, there are two background effects for compositing if you need them. Let's take a look at some of the presets. I have a clip on my timeline I'd like to add some elements to. I'll attach Target 7 to the clip. First off, one of the most unique features of HUD Pop is its built-in tracker. I'll simply place the tracker window on the element I'd like to track and click the Track Forward button. This tracker works really well. Plus, you have some further smoothing options if your object bounces around a lot. Moving the position handle positions the element without changing the track like an offset from the tracking animation. In the parameters, we have tons of customization options. First off, I'll rotate the whole element in 3D space, and then I can position the outer, middle, and inner circles in 3D space for a cool 3D look. I'll animate these over time for further stylization. I have complete customization of the colors of the graphics, plus I can add special effects like glow and blur. Let's add the screen interface preset. I'll shrink it down and position it where I'd like it. Again, I can customize it and add some special effects so it goes with the first graphic. I'll add the sonar preset to the top left corner and customize it to taste. We just created a complex military looking HUD overlay in minutes that tracks with the footage. Stupid Raisin's HUD Pop is perfect for all sorts of projects. Use it for tech related footage or for sci-fi projects create complex UIs that will impress your audience or your clients. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.